Um, before I begin this 350 sub special, um, there's a few things I need to clarify. If it wasn't for the fact that my laptop broke down, I would have made this a long time ago. I've reached my 350 sub special, uh, 350 subs around the time that Teal Deer linked my video in his video, and I received a lot of support. I also received a couple of haters, but mostly support. And because of that, within two weeks, I reached about 400 subscribers. And right now, I'm at 430 subscribers. So, without a doubt, I'm going to reach 450 subs within this month. And who knows, maybe 500 subs by the end of this month. Which would be fucking awesome. <laughs> but, uh, anyway... If it wasn't for the fact that my laptop broke down, the 350 subs special would have been out weeks ago. And, you know, I have to give the people who subscribe to me the, uh, a big, massive apology. I am very sorry that my videos look like shit for the past two weeks. But, um, you know... I appreciate you guys for subscribing to me. You know, thank you. Thank you very fucking much. So, now that we're, we're, we're clarifying that, um, originally I had planned to make the 350 sub special based on this one YouTuber who made a video response to me. Unfortunately, the video itself has been removed. The entire channel has been removed. Uh... I believe it's because of some false DMCA's, but um, I could be wrong. But regardless, um, I'm going to make the 400 sub special based on this individual, and boy, it's gonna be amazing. Now, this video is about Jenny McDermott, no doubt about it, and. <laughs> <laughs> this ties in with this stupid uh, this stupid ideology about how um protein world is fat shaming. A, a bunch of feminists feel like it is their duty to pretty much destroy and make fun of protein world's ad. You know, they would you know fight the patriarchy by vandalizing stuff. <sighs> Not only did Protein World act in a, you know, an unexpected response. You know, I, most responses from um, companies like DC and Marvel, they would back down. They would say, fuck that shit. We gotta give in to these feminist demands. Not Protein World! Oh no! Not Protein World. In fact, I feel like buying products from Protein World. Because these people, these fucking people have the fucking balls. They have more balls than the entire feminist community combined together. They stood up for their ads. You know, they demonstrated, you know, a few comics, I mean, magazines of half-naked men, half-naked women. And, you know, these, these the, the, the best response that Protein World can ever give towards these feminists is grow up. I want to buy products from Protein World now. Just because these these people have the guts to stand up against feminism. I mean, feminists. And, you know, th these feminists are so goddamn pissed, one of the feminists sent them a bomb threat. Feminists are showing their true colors. It's just fucking amazing. <sighs> so, you know, I'm, I'm, now that that's over, you know, how about we start the 350 sub special? All right, let's do this shit. I have voices in my head. They count for me. They understand.
understand they It all started with a simple video response towards Miss Zelda NES. At first, I was attacked by her fans for daring to speak out against her, mainly because she was a woman. But everything changed when a man, I, I mean deer, a teal deer, if you will, came out of his forest to help me. It was so kind to link my video in his description. Not only have the video balanced out its hate comments with support comments, but also gained a total of 400 subs in less than two weeks. And now, I'm a bit overdue with this video, but I think the wait was worth it. Hey, welcome to my house. You know, it's not much, but you know, it's Mikasa. <laughs> Actually, I just broke into Andrew Norton's house. The only reason I, he hasn't called a cop because he thinks I'm his roommate. Hey, keep it down right there. I am trying to watch this crap. It's clip, you piece of- I mean! Women evil. How dare these women are demanding womenly stuff. Anyway, if I'm going to make a 350 sub special, I might as well make it entertaining anyway. So, I guess the only person that fits the bill at this point is none other than Jenny McDumbass. Let's make the video. Are you Beachbody ready? No, but I am brain stupid ready for you. The only way that I could ever ever make a video response without committing suicide if I did something that is just equivalently as crazy as your fucking videos. And that is watching My Little Pony. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. <laughs> Applejack is the best pony there is. Hands down. I want her to be my wife. In case you haven't already heard, Protein World, a British diet shake company, recently released an ad with a thin, attractive woman in a bikini on it. Sexualizing women in order to sell a product isn't all too uncommon in the world of advertising. It is also not uncommon to do the same for men. However, feminists like yourself like to translate ads like if they're telling you that if you don't look like this, you will look like shit. Buy our products for $9.99. One of the main reasons a buzz has been created is because it's the trending topic at the moment. It isn't as if feminists are going to Hyde Park every day to protest Calvin Klein ads. Well, a feminist not protesting is pretty much the same thing as a lion not eating meat. It's just not natural for them to do what they are not supposed to do. In fact, as soon as you become a feminist, the very first thing you want to do is protest, protest, protest. You know, you gotta find something that's worth protesting for. This just happens to be one of those moments where people are tired of having to follow an unrealistic representation of beauty. Okay, two things. One, what do you mean an unrealistic representation of beauty? That body is not impossible to achieve. All it takes is effort, something that you feminists will never understand because to actually try will require you to use more than 1% of your brain. Hell, I can get that body if I do a little workout every now and then and eat healthy. But the reason I don't is because I don't want to work out. Second, you act like this ad is literally telling you that if you don't end up looking like a supermodel, you will end up having no boyfriend and your life is going to suck. I want you to point out where exactly in the ad does it tell you that. And are standing up against it while the topic is hot. Also, there's an unending war of feminism versus anti-feminism on the internet. So when something like this comes up, we all try and throw in our obvious viewpoints. According to BodyShaming.org, body shaming is defined as inappropriate negative statements and attitudes toward another person's weight or size. If you do not buy our products, then you are a fat, ugly slut. This is pretty much what Jenny McDermott is pretty much fucking saying that somehow the ad is fat shaming. Okay, look, I don't know what you consider to be realistic beauty, but if you're into fat, ugly men, then by all means, have sex with them. 
It can also reach into the discrimination against individuals who may be overweight. How dare these people encourage others to lose weight and eat healthy so that way they don't have to feel bad about their own bodies. In particular, there are negative attitudes in the media and elsewhere about celebrities who are too fat or who have not gotten rid of baby weight in an appropriate amount of time. Oh my god, Britney Spears gained 20 pounds. Who the fuck cares? A backlash against body shaming has resulted in the coining of the term itself and attempts to bring a more positive attitude toward diverse body sizes and styles. Look. If you're okay with your own body, then that's completely fucking fine. However, don't just go around saying that somehow the patriarchy demands that you change your body into a more appropriate look so that way the patriarchy can continue living on and stuff. Don't come up with this bullshit. Intrigued over the controversy, I immediately took to the land of YouTube anti-feminists to see what they had to say on the subject. First channel I hit was BaseFzz, whose video is titled Protein World vs. Insecure Women. His take became about relationships between cisgendered men and women which mutated into feminism versus anti-feminism, with the main claim that a lot of men don't care what women look like and want to treat them well. Like Noel Plum, he was outraged by the outrage. With that, the first problem is the outrage. I don't understand. Actually, I do understand. That's not true. It, it's just, it still gets to me how these women are so upset about this image of another lady, right? So lots of research were put into these ad this advertisement in particular, and a lot of women said that what they wanted to see in advertisement was someone obtaining their goal with the product of Protein World. So that Protein World did what the people said they wanted to see. So, one, they, they gave a lot of one women, one faction of women what they wanted, but then the other half of women got upset about it. Because again, they say that this is an unrealistic expectation of what it means, of what a woman looks like. And I, and I find that to be a very interesting thing. Because on the one hand, you know, they act as if, you know, they can't put in the effort to work out and diet and try to look their best. On the other hand, they act as if, you know, a lot of men only care about the way they look, when that's just not true. He says women only have themselves to blame for their outrage, because it is their fault that they constantly compare themselves to other women. This is no different from the time feminists attacked Barbie for having an unrealistic body, a fucking children toy that is mostly aimed at girls. If you can't even handle the idea on how the ad is showing that you can gain that body by taking their products, then you are in fact insecure and the only person to really blame is yourself. For no reason at all. He then goes on to say that it is a fact that every woman will find someone who cares about them, but that they don't want just any man, they want a man for his money. A woman's image shouldn't be the main deciding factor on whether or not she is a valid person. Many men are attracted to a body that looks like a supermodel, if not just a simple skinny and fit body. And don't pretend that you won't have sex with a muscular man because almost any woman in the world would want to have sex with a muscular man. But hey, if having sex with a fat man is your thing, then who am I to judge? I mean, after all, it's not like women don't judge men's looks, right? I am constantly harassed online about my appearance. People say things like, you're too old. Your forehead is too big. You have too much makeup on. Your breasts are misshapen. You're balding. It all just flows right over me, but why is it so important what I look like when my videos are about ideas? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is nowhere near accurate. If anything, your videos is basically just being an attention whore, so that way you can get more and more attention from the amazing atheists. That's about it. I believe it has to do with the way we are taught to treat celebrities through TMZ or the way we view perfect human beings in advertisements. Oh yeah, because apparently TMZ has influence over people's minds. I'm not even a real human being to a lot of you. Just some 2D whore cunt that you take out your daddy issues on. Well, jeez, I don't know. Maybe because your personality is the equivalency of Scrappy-Doo from Scooby-Doo. Puppy power! And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, it's simple. Scrappy-Doo is basically one of the most hated anime characters of all time. He even has his own trope called the Scrappy. 
I will link in the description. Bases responded to me in the comments by further body shaming women. He said that he isn't attracted to thin girls and that thicker girls really get his goat. He said that in order for him to be interested in a woman, she would have to try and put more weight on. Okay, how in the world is he body shaming? Because he likes girls that have at least some meat in their bodies? That makes no sense whatsoever. Having a preferable body type is not body shaming, you fucking moron. I like skinny girls. But I am willing to date a woman that is a little fat as long as her personality doesn't make me want to vomit. But by your own logic, you are body shaming muscular men because you hate the idea that men are acting masculine and you prefer a fat man who's basically a wimp. Shame on you! He then asked that I do a response to his video where he felt the need to say to me, quote, Explain how this ad could make a woman such as yourself an attractive woman, I mean, you got quite the jawline, but you're a pretty person regardless, could get upset with the ad. Once again, I'm dismissed based on my physical appearance. Ugh, that statement is so goddamn stupid. I think I actually lost a couple of brain cells. I never go to any person's video disqualifying them for what they look like. What this guy is pretty much saying is that you're physically attractive enough for him to want to put his penis inside your fucking vagina and that's what should really fucking matter, right? And you shouldn't either. This is all related to the issue of women being objectified in advertising and the media. But objectifying men is A-OK. -okay. Go on boys, strip for the ladies! <laughs> I think that the problem is that we idealize thinness among women, and people have had enough of feeling as if they don't match up. No, only feminists like yourself feel like this ad is somehow telling you that you need to have this body. Women like Miss Misanthropist or Jacqueline Glenn do not see it this way. We are the normal people. You're not. I am in no way attempting to body shame the model in the ad. Yes you are, you dumbass, because according to your logic, having a preferable body somehow makes you a body shamer. But advertisements contain images of women similar to her so often. This reminds me of this one article where this fit mother was considered to be body shaming because she was showing off her abs and saying, there's no excuse. If you put a lot of effort into your own body, then guess what? There will be results. That her body type becomes a standard for beauty, and those who can't meet up with that standard may develop feelings of inadequacy. Or they would want to have that body, so that way not only they would feel beautiful, but also feel strong about themselves. Duh! Exposure to the ideal thin body type in the media may be linked to body image disturbance in women, according to a study titled The Role of the Media in Body Image Concerns Among Women, a Meta-Analysis of Experimental and Correlational Studies. The study says, This meta-analysis represents a systematic inquiry into the overall associations of thin ideal media exposure and three main areas of women's body image and related concerns. The results show consistent associations across both experimental and correlational designs and across multiple measures of women's body image and eating behaviors and beliefs. Thus, these findings provide strong support for the notion that exposure to mass media depicting the thin ideal body is related to women's vulnerability to disturbances related to body image. Uh, I might have to fact check that later on, but I believe Teal Deer might end up beating me to it before I do. Now you're going to argue correlation versus causation, and rightly so. So I wanted you to know that there are so many studies that show a relationship between the media that we consume and the way it affects us. You aren't just made of rubber. You absorb the information you are fed. You might be more prone to hate the way you look based on constantly being bombarded with impossible beauty standards. This is no different than saying that video games somehow makes you sex sick. In fact, I believe this to be true. Well, that's a shocker. You believing in something stupid. The next morning, I saw that Sargon of Akkad made a video admonishing feminists for taking umbrage over the ad. One of the first things he says in his video is that he isn't all that fit and doesn't have any intentions of getting fit because it seems like a lot of work. He says this with complete confidence. And why shouldn't he? Do we ever see his appearance? 
Do people constantly berate him for his weight online? He's right about it being a lot of work to get fit. In an interview with People Magazine, Protein World's model Renee Summerfield said that she is a vegan who eats six times a day and works out four to five times a week. This sounds like a very healthy version of what we typically find in models, and good for her with maintaining her health. But Sargon is right. It is extremely difficult to maintain this type of physique. As someone who has been naturally skinny but a bit curvy my whole life, I understand that it would take months for me to look anything close to what this model looks like. And when I've tried, I feel fatigued and I'm an asshole to be around. You mean you weren't one before? I'm quite shocked. So what does Sargon do? He continues to body shame women over and over throughout this video. You see, feminists love mobs. They love forming mobs. Because without mobs, they seem crazy. And so when one of them finds something that they can all get offended by, because all of these feminists are kind of pudgy, the backlash begins. Almost 60,000 fat, lazy feminists were like, yeah, yeah, I'll tweet my support for that. The justification for this was, of course, retarded. Protein World is directly targeting individuals, aiming to make them feel physically inferior to the unrealistic body image of the bronze model in order to sell their product. Now this is true, I mean, if you are in fact a land whale who sits on her ass and uses Twitter all day, then this will be an unrealistic body image. You will never achieve They didn't know you were going to see their adverts, feel bad about yourself for being fat and lazy, and then take up to change.org to write a petition about it. Beach body ready tube ads to be taken down ahead of mass protest. This protest is called Taking Back the Beach, and it's due to happen on May the 2nd. They want people to turn up at Hyde Park in their bikinis and swim shorts and whatnot, which I'm sure won't be the most disgusting thing you've ever fucking seen. But you know what, my dear feminists, you shouldn't count your calories before you've eaten them, because you might find yourself eating an apple rather than a Mars bar. For some reason, this is a very difficult issue to understand. Of course it's difficult to understand because you feminists throw a hissy fit just about anything that gives a slight impression of sexism. My god, this woman's boobs are too big. Sexism. Her body is too masculine. Patriarchy. She's smart, useful, and she's not annoying, but she needs to be rescued once by a man so she can fight side by side with him and thus developing a bond that makes them closer than ever. Oh, why is the man need to rescue the girl? She should never be a damsel even for a second! There's an idea of what women are supposed to look like. If they don't meet up to that standard, then they lose credibility. Take the red pill! Take the red pill! So, rather than form a basic understanding about that issue, the anti-feminists feel a need to further body shame women. They are not body shaming women. They're making fun on how stupid feminists are. You feminists are acting like fucking Islamic terrorists. You are literally no different from them. Especially considering that you're not even mentioning the part of where the feminists have literally sent a goddamn bomb threat to protein world. In fact, you're not even going to mention about the idea that these feminists are vandalizing posters and of course sending fucking bomb threats towards protein world. It's almost as if you're okay with that. So it's okay to send a bomb threat towards Protein World, but send a bomb threat to Anita Sarkeesian, then holy shit, everyone goes ape shit. I've concluded that the reason you're this way is because you have distanced women so far away from yourselves that you no longer view them as people, but rather some sort of annoying piece of furniture or farm animal. Hey, woman! Your job is to make me a sandwich and twerk. Now, make me a twerk bitch. In case you don't know what a twerk bitch is, allow me to explain. It's basically twerking while making a sandwich. Should be an internet meme. Every time an opinion is voiced about an inequality, you make up some BS anecdotal evidence. Thanks, Sam Martina. I know you way too well, Jenny McTransmoff. You barely provide any evidence whatsoever to prove your point. And when people like myself link our sources for you to look at, the very first thing you do is dismiss them entirely and make fun at us. You don't debate because you are a coward. 
When I made two videos about you, instead of responding, all you did was make a video saying somehow I have some sort of control over trolls on the internet. And if you see a troll on the internet, it's most likely me controlling that troll. I laughed, but I was expecting at least a response proving me wrong. And the word proving is under heavy quotations, by the way. But I doubt that even if I make this video, you're not going to debate. You're not going to make a video response debunking me. At most, you're going to make fun at me. This proves you have no backbone whatsoever. And the fact that you keep making shitty video after shitty video comes to shove that you like being humiliated when someone provide facts. Because at the end of the day, you are nothing more than an attention whore to be hated by the majority of YouTube. That proves to you that feminists are out to take over the world and ruin all that is sacred. Diversity in body shapes is one solution, even in a fitness advertisement. Is that so hard? So what you're saying that a product that is used to make you muscular, if not help you lose weight to become skinny, should contain an ad of a normal person who is not completely skinny? Well, that's a bit counteractive, don't you think? Protein world. This ad is counteractive. Why the unwillingness to budge? What are you really fighting to protect? Well, for starters, how about the political correctness overload when it comes to women? You feminists get offended at everything. Why change something that needs to fit your ideology? And another, sexy women sell products just like sexy men sell products. Guess what? It works! Some photoshopped fake image that was used to manipulate you into buying some pointless product? Well, if you compare your body to a fictional character, then guess what? There's something obviously wrong with you! And by the way, that product is not pointless, Jenny McDumbass. That product is there to help you lose fucking weight. Get those fingers ready. I want some answers below, please. Oh, here it is. Your fucking answer. Seriously, this is one of the dumbest videos that I have responded to. Jenny McDumbass, is your brain stupid ready? You know, since you made fun of me in your other video, it's only fair that I return the favor. In song style. Oh my god, this bitch is really dumb. I think my brain is going dumb. I think I am going to hurl on this stupid girl. Oh, I am so glad it's almost done. I can't say it was fun. Making a video on Jenny I'm not getting paid a penny But sadly I have to admit She's a gold mine of shit I am the atheist gamer Peace the game come from? Big Toe Harry? Where are you? I'm trying to watch this clap. Will you come, you know, watch this clap with me? You know, I'm kind of lonely right now.